updates here from Pop Turner speaking to Paola Bardini about Society of the Snow, which is going to be streaming on Netflix January 4th. Welcome to the show. Bienvenido a la entrevista. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, this is exciting. It's crazy because I love this film so much. Congratulations to you and the cast and everyone. Thank you very and, much. You know, it goes in the movie theaters, some festivals. So some people here and there have seen it. But on January 4th, the world's going to be able to see it on Netflix. Yeah. How exciting is that for you? Well, it's really exciting because we we have been waiting for this like a long time ago. Yeah. We start this like two years ago or a little bit more. So this is like a huge time. It's like our family and our friends been asking for the movie like for a year. <laughs> when are we going to see it? We're gonna... And now finally you're going to see it. So it's very exciting. And, and, the, and, and also that the whole world is going to see it. So oh, it's but... crazy. And it's a very important film <laughs> and it's important that everyone gets to see it. So I'm so excited for people to see it January 4th on Netflix. What was the audition process? Like, what can you tell me about how you got involved specifically with this project? Yeah. Well, um, at, at, at first it was like a casting call, like another casting call. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't realize it was a big movie. It was like, um, I have worked with the cast director in a previous um, project, so it was like a cast. It was a out of out um, like a self tape. Yes. So, so I did it, and they answered me like, I, I I don't think you did it like really good. This is a very important film. Do you want to do it again? And I was like, oh okay. <laughs> so <laughs> so I did it again. It, I didn't know what was the film about or anything. It was, it was. Uh, I I understand that it was a um, a commotional film, yeah. but we didn't know about the the director no. or anything. they don't they don't tell you much sometimes. They don't tell yeah. you much sometimes, and and there was a huge casting. I mean, every actress that I knew made make it so yeah. so it was i i forgot about it and like a month after they told me well the director wants to uh, have a like a callback but for what in zoom yeah and the director is jota bayona and i was like oh okay <laughs> <laughs> so and we made this Zoom casting, and it was really great. He's he's super. Um, he's easy to talk. He tells you exactly what he wants, so it was great. And then I sp and then I have to wait like a, another month, and they tell me we want to see you, but in another callback. But you have to travel to your way. So I went there. And there was these like three days with with cast with the director and another actors yeah. and it was really like a big casting i was <laughs> i was I, I i haven't been in a casting call like that before so i was thinking well if i if i don't get the movie this is super incredible yeah <laughs> but then like a month after that, they told me, well, you're in it. So it was very amazing. <laughs> and the thing about this film, Paula, is, and, I, I, and again, I don't want to go into big spoilers because, you know, people saw the trailer, they know about certain things, but there was a lot, from, from a viewer perspective, there are a lot of hard scenes to watch yes. in regards to the physical, like the crash and everything, the survival component, but then the emotional, mental kind of aspect of yeah. it right so what were some of the hardest scenes for you in your opinion that kind of stood out to film for this well there were the, yeah i think as an actress the the hardest part was like trying to think how would i feel in that situation that was like nothing compares to that in real life yeah. nothing that i have lived before so it was very hard and we um we had uh, two months of rehearsal to get to that scenes and that feelings and and make uh, different techniques 
from uh, um, breathing, breathing techniques yeah. to get to emotional states. So there was like this scene very difficult for everyone that was after the crash. Mm -hmm. And because Bayona wanted to film that like almost like a documental. Yeah. So everyone were in the in the state of of crying and like for a long time. And that was very difficult to to shoot. Even even if if you don't see the faces of everyone in the in the film, we all be we all were there, like helping each other, and yeah. that was very very difficult scene to shoot. Yeah. But as an actress, another the, the the scene that we spoke that we speak about eating the, mm. the corpses. <laughs> This is like a little spoiler, but well, everyone knows the main story. Yes, so yes, 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 yes. That was very difficult, and, and we rehearsal it a lot of of times to really like trying to understand what were they feeling and mm. they think as persons that live in. 72 they have another cosmovision they were very religious and, yeah. and that was very hard for me like how do they speak about this how do they say eat yeah corpses? and it, that was very different and your character <laughs> too is like no like right away like no i'm not doing yeah, this she yeah was, she was a very religious a uh, woman and she had four kids yeah. and they were it, it, she didn't eat till the last day so it was very difficult for her and her husband mm -hmm. to accept this and well that was really hard thinking yeah, i can't even imagine <laughs> Yeah, and I don't want to go into big spoilers. So after, as soon as we're done yeah. this interview, as soon as we wrap the interview, I'll tell you afterwards off air. But yeah. there was one scene of this movie that made me cry. Yeah. So I, I will tell you there. There's yeah. I'll tell you. I don't want to say it now because, but there was one scene that made me cry in this movie. So we will talk about it afterwards. Okay. But what was, I can imagine. <laughs> um, because a lot of things kind of like you, you're you're strapped in watching this movie and a lot of things kind of like, even though you know what happens, it's surprising. Yeah. So that's I think the, you're, you're starting to think of about... The movie, that I, you know yeah. the story, but, but this movie has a way of telling you the story that it's really... Sir, um, how do you say like um, a big surprise? Yeah, it's it's a very it's surprising, it's suspenseful, yeah, surprising. And it's, yeah, it's very I, surprising. And uh, last question too. I mean, you know, what was it like? Like you mentioned, you know, big cast, like a lot of people. You got to work with an incredible amount of actors, really talented actors. What was it like, kind of working with everyone? What was that like specifically? Well, it was it was amazing. I was the only girl for a long time. <laughs> with like a cast of 27 boys mm -hmm. and at first i thought that would be like i don't know i'm gonna feel weird but we made this society of the cast at the very beginning we had these two months of, of rehearsal where we get to know each other and and we were really like a family yeah. it's 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 really hard to see that in a cast because you don't get to know everybody, everyone that, I mean, we spent Christmas together. Yeah. We were, and that really helped us to, for, for, for the, for the shooting, because when we got there, we were like really loving each other and really wanting to help others I mean, when, when we shoot that scenes, when you see one, we were all the other side, like helping and making the feeling for everyone that, and that helping that we all have cold, we all have hung, uh, uh, hungry. And I mean, it was very different of every 
film that I've ever been. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And uh, people are going to be able to see it January 4th on Netflix, Society of the Snow. I can't wait for everyone to see it. You were so fantastic in this movie, Paula. I can't wait for everyone Thank to see you it. Thank you so much for the interview. Muchas gracias. Bueno, de nada. <laughs> Hope everyone enjoy this movie and cries a lot. Yeah. And and re and remember this story that it was like huge for humanity. It so. felt so real and authentic. And I think that's yeah. a credit. That's credit to the director, Bayona. Like, I mean, like, it's just. Do you know what I mean? Like, it feels like it. Have you yes. you seen it? Right. Yes, I've seen it five times. Yeah, now. it feels like it's great. Like it's so real. It's crazy. Yeah, it's so real. And and he was very obsessive to get there to yeah. get a real a real state of of emotional state of everyone. Mm -hmm. So he was like very um comprometido we say like yes. for the story yes absolutely to to really get to tell the story that these people were alive and and, and this is a real story so yes I know. And nominated for a Golden Globe, which is so amazing. Yes. And, you know, the Oscar buzz is around the air, so we'll wait and see with that. But uh, thank you so much. And uh, your Instagram account is the best way for people to follow you, right? Is it just your name? Is it Pao, Pao Baldini? Pao Baldini, that's my Instagram. Perfect. So you can... Yeah. We will, be, we will be posting, like, backstage things um, briefly when the movie comes out, so stay tuned. Awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, this has been popturnings.com slash popturn for previous episodes. You can catch Paula Baldini inside of the snow on Netflix January 4th. Until next time, it's Paula and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. This has been an Autograph Communications production.